A version of this article first appeared in the Reliable Sources newsletter. You can sign up for free right here. President Trump could not be more clear, he is pledging to provide truly great health care that will work for America. But maybe not until after the 2020 election. I an unusual nighttime tweet storm on Monday, he said everybody agrees that Obamacare doesn't work, so the GOP is developing a really great health care plan with far lower premiums, cost, and deductibles than Obamacare. He said a vote will be taken right after the election, when Republicans hold the Senate and win, pause for the next tweet, back the House. The president went on to say that the Republican Party will be known as the party of great healed care. Presidential typos are a sign of carelessness. Or worse. But I digress. The president is drawing attention to health care concerns, and that's a good thing. The national news media does not dedicate enough time to this topic. The more attention, the better. CNN's Kyle Feldscher, there is no evidence that there is another healthcare reform proposal coming from the GOP. A view from the left, John Favreau of Pod Save America tweeted, Trump just made sure another election will be about healthcare. Amazing. Kushner's deflection. Senior WH advisor Jared Kushner gave a very, very rare interview to Fox on Monday. On the same day that the House Oversight Committee upped its scrutiny of the WH's security clearance process due to info provided by a WH insider. Kushner is one of the people ensnared by the scandal. Kushner was on Fox to talk about the First Step Act. So his interviewer, Laura Ingraham, broached the security clearance issue as gently as possible. The left is going crazy about this security clearance issue, she said, knowing that she'd be incensed if the shoes were on the other feet. Kushner said he couldn't comment on the White House process, but said he'd been accused of all kinds of things that turned out to be false during his tenure at the WH. Ingraham then mocked the issue by asking Kushner if he poses a grave national security concern to the country. The Nits Maggie Haberman tweeted that Ingraham noticeably did not follow up by asking him if his father-in-law overruled security officials to grant him his clearance. A White House whistleblower. The big picture, via CNN's Alex Marquardt, a White House whistleblower is alleging the Trump administration's handling of security clearances is threatening you. S. National Security. Her name is Tricia Newbold. She remains on the job. In a White House, where aggressive leak investigations are conducted in service of President Trump, who has aides sign non-disclosure agreements, her account represents the rarest of developments, a damning on-the-record account from a current employee inside his ranks, the Nits Katie Rogers writes. Coming soon to Facebook. Oliver Darcy emails, Mark Zuckerberg surprised everyone on Monday with the announcement that Facebook is developing a new section on the site devoted to curating high quality and trustworthy news. Zuckerberg, who dropped the news during a recorded conversation with Axel Springer CEO Matthias Dopfner, said the new section would be modeled after Facebook's existing watch tab, which hosts videos and original programming. Some details, executives have discussed possibly launching the feature by the end of 2019, a source familiar with the convos told me. Zuckerberg said Facebook should be thinking about the possibility of paying publishers license fees. He stressed that he wants to improve monetization for publishers 